Welcome back to another Victory at Sea unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the U.S. Navy aircraft for Victory at Sea. Um, I also, so these were recently available for pre-order on the Warlord website, which I did. Also got some Imperial Japanese um, aircraft, which I have already unboxed in an, another video. Um, and I only got one blister pack here for the U.S. aircraft for a couple of reasons, and I'll explain why. I only got one pack of the F6F Hellcat flights and you can see by looking through the blister that there is no ring. These are only fighters, they are not bombers. So single use, so no ring. And then we have our US Navy aircraft. I also have a Corsair here from, this is from the US Navy starter pack. I've got four of these in there, so now I have four Hellcats, plus in here what we're going to get, we're going to get nine flights total, we're going to get one PBY Catalina, we're going to get four um, Avenger Torpedo Bombers, and four F4F Wildcats. So let's quickly open this. Um, I think we know that this unboxing isn't going to be terribly exciting, but I do want to just talk about my reasoning behind why I purchased what I did and why the differences between what I got for the U.S. and the Japanese navies were so different in terms of quantity. Because I do want to be able to play e either navy. So... As we know, we're just going to get some flights in here. There's no, no cardboard or anything else. Um, now, these cost similar to the submarines and MTBs, which I have said I do not think are worth the cost. You might be able to say that with these. I'm not going to. The reason being is these can be played and should be played in just about any game that you play. The subs and MTBs are much more specialized and will not be played in necessarily every game that you play. So I think there is much more use out of these. So let's see, so we have an Avenger. That's another Avenger, another Avenger. That's a Wildcat. And that's the Catalina. So the Avenger is our Torpedo Bomber. And the A. Um, oh, that's the... Um, that's the ASW. So that's for, I believe, for hunting submarines. So that's something that I don't believe any of the Japanese um, flights that I have have. Um, both the Catalina and the Avenger will be able to hunt submarines a bit. And then the Wildcats are fighter bombers. Catalina is a bomber, a torpedo bomber, and um, I, think, I think it's a sub hunter. It's ASW. Now, these flights are slightly different in that we should have one significantly different flight, and that is the Catalina, which is actually a singular airplane. So this is a much larger flight. It is a seaplane, and as you can see by its base, I believe the Royal Navy had a similar aircraft. Um, this has a socket instead of a peg, and there is um, a ball on the bottom of the aircraft to attach to the flight stand. And then we have our Wildcats and our Avengers, which I will quickly show. So let's see, the Wildcats are actually significantly smaller. The Avengers are similar in size to the Catalinas. 
they actually might be a slightly bigger than the Catalinas. But again, not significantly different. Um, but so that's what we get in the box. Um, I will again just try one of the rings. The Japanese ones fit very well. And better than the um, the starter box flights. A little bit tight, but I believe with just a little bit of trimming of some flash, I'll be able to get that one to sit pretty well without having to clip the ring like I had to do with the starter aircraft for the US and the Imperial, the Japanese Navy. So as we did, with the Japanese Navy, let's just take a quick look at the aircraft and why I did what I did. So first of all, with the Corsairs, the Corsairs are aircraft capable. So my big thing is, are they carrier capable or not? because carrier capable aircraft are included in the cost of their carrier. The Corsairs are, which is great, but why didn't I get another pack of Corsairs like I did with the Zeros for the Imperial Japanese Navy? Because you can only run them off of a carrier from 1944 and on. You can run Corsairs in 1942, but those are not carrier capable. So the only carrier capable Corsairs are only available in 1944 and onward. So not super useful um, because a lot of games you're going to play are going to be like 1943-ish based. So I just thought I would get a little bit less use out of the Corsairs. They're 25 points each when you don't use a carrier. For the Hellcats, find the Hellcats here. The Hellcats are carrier capable. They are available in 1943. They're only fighters though, they don't have a bomber option, so that reduces their value to me slightly. Um, and they they are also tough, which is actually fairly good. Once I get to playing more aircraft, we'll t have a discussion about aircraft and what to look for, um, but they are 20 points each. And then, we have, so the Catalina, the Catalina is not going to be aircraft carrier capable. So the Cat Catalina is available in 37, not carrier capable. Bomber and torpedo bomber and the ASW. Um, they are large and um, the torpedo bomber is devastating and large. And their cost is 20 or 15 points, depending on which version you get. Then we have our Avengers. Our Avengers are carry capable as of 1942, so much more useful. And they come in the ASW and Torpedo Bomber versions. They are 20 points each without the carrier, but they are carrier capable in 42, so that's good. And then we have our Wildcats. And I, the ordering of the, the flights it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But we have two Wildcats. They're both carrier capable as of 1940. Um, there's a fighter and a bomber version. They're tough, which I think is important, and 15 points each. So eight of the nine aircraft here are carrier capable. They're carrier capable earlier in the war. So even though I didn't get enough carrier capable flights to run in a fully outfitted early war aircraft carrier, the idea is I will be getting a second at least a second box of Navy aircraft. I think the U.S. Navy aircraft box is much more valuable, um, much, um, just has, you know, a lot more useful um, craft, aircraft in it than the, um, the, than the Japanese. So I wanted to make sure while I was getting blisters, I got more than enough for the Japanese where I'm going to wait till these are available in the US 
and pick up a box of these at my local store to support my local shop. Um, so I, I'll just have to wait on that a little bit. Um, I do think the Catalinas are interesting. Um, be interesting to try those a little bit. Um, but that's it for this unboxing. So hopefully you liked it. Um, if you did, please like and subscribe. Um, your subscriptions really let me know what it is that you are interested in and where I should take my channel. Um, but until next time, have fun gaming, have fun painting, and we'll see you next time.